Hi guys and welcome to the nail team. As most of you know, we moved in December 2013 to larger premises, so I wanted to show you around the shop area and the training centre before we start the tutorial. So this is our shop area. We sell a wide range of products and you can come in 10 till 5 Monday to Friday or 10.30 till 2.30 on a Saturday. We stock NSI, Crystal Nails, Pro Impressions and lots of other brands. We also have a fantastic candy cart that's full of nail team goodies, glitters, bling, lots of things to get you excited. Follow me into the training area. So this is our new larger training area, great for group courses but we also run one-to-ones here. So you're welcome to book on a course and come and enjoy and learn some new skills. So I look forward to seeing you soon and we'll start the tutorials now. Bye. So earlier on we created a nail using the disco rings and we're just going to put a little bit of one stroke on this now. So I've just buffed the nail so that it's a nice matte surface and we're going to start to create some nice one stroke flowers around these disco rings. So picking up two colours on your brush at the same time, you're going to blend those two colours on your skin a nice warm soft surface and then start to create your petals in a gentle tapping motion keeping the angle of the brush flat to the nail you're going to tap and turn your brush to create small petals I'm using the one move four brush from crystal nails because it's going to give me some really nice tiny little flowers so we're working around those disco rings so that we don't cover them up paints I'm using are the Crystal Nails One Move paints. They glide really well and blend really well. So again blending those colours on your skin and start to create your second flower. Working around the disco rings. Keeping the angle of that brush flat to the nail so that you get both colours on there at the same time. So we're now ready to create some leaves, so we're going to use white and green, again blending on your skin before you apply it to the nail and you want to make some little kite shapes by tapping up, turning the brush and tapping back down. Again that flat angle of the brush to the flat of the nail. Always blend in before you apply to the nail. And just tuck those leaves in so that you don't cover up your disco rings.
now I'm going to add some detail to this nail. So using the one move paints and your barber brush, you need to add some water to your one move paints so that they're not as thick to do the detailing so that you get nice fine lines. And then just picking up a small amount on the tip of your brush to do that detailing with. It's better if you work at that 90 degree angle, that way you're using the tip of the brush, the real fine point of the brush, to outline your leaves. So just pulling the vein through the middle and then outlining the sides. You can put some extra veins in there if you want to. So just doing a little bit of extra detailing now with that barber brush and the white paint. Just some little squiggly lines and some little buds. Again trying to go round the disco ring so that you don't cover them up. So once you've finished your detail work, just using normal consistency paint, you're going to use that same barber brush just to put your dots in. You can use a dotting tool if you want to, but I still prefer to use my barber brush to do this. That way I get different sized dots so it looks a little bit more natural. So once that paint's dry, you can apply a layer of glaze and go. And we're going to do two coats of glaze and go to secure those one move paints. So that first coat is just going to go into the lamp for 10 to 20 seconds so it doesn't have a full cure and it's still sticky for when that second coat goes on. Making sure that that glaze and go doesn't touch the cuticle area the side walls, any part of the skin. It is only designed to go over the top of acrylic and hard gels. Capping that free edge and back into your lamp for its full cure. Once it comes out the lamp, give it 30 to 60 seconds just to cool down before you apply your cuticle oil. And that nail's now done. So if you'd like to purchase any of those products that you've just seen on that tutorial, you need to join our Facebook page www.thenailteam.com and then you can send a message to our sales team, Matthew and Diane Nail Team, and they'll sort that order out for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.